In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint onto fresh plaster and I'm going to show you how to use a roller and a brush just to paint a normal household wall. The things you're going to need for this job are you want your roller, you want your roller head, you want a brush for painting in the corners, getting into tight spaces. And that there is a proper painter's tray, they're only a couple of quid. I think this one was a pound actually in Wix's. You want something to stir your paint as well, because it might be a bit thick when you open it, so give it a good stir before you use it. For this, I'm just using a long old knife, but you can use anything really, but make sure it's clean. If you've got any mess on it and you stir that and you've had it with bits in it. First thing, when you're painting onto a fresh plaster wall, a lot of people recommend watering down a white paint. And I found a great way is just to use a cheap budget value paint and just paint that on neat. And the one I like to use is this. It's a B&Q matte matte emulsion for walls and ceilings. It says it gives you 120 meters squares coverage, 10 litre tub, these are 10 pounds, so a pound a litre bargain. And to be honest with you, it actually gives a really good final finish as well if you put a few coats on. I use two coats of this on the plaster, so one coat let it dry, put another coat on, then apply your final finish with a more expensive paint. So what you don't want to do is use an expensive Dulux or crown paint, straight on a plaster, it absorbs it all and you're using tin after tin and it's costing you a fortune. A pound a litre, that's what you want on the wall. This is what I've used on my ceilings at the moment and this is a more expensive Dulux tub, didn't cost a fortune, but I put this on as my third coat on the ceilings. And on my walls I'm using a Dulux Jasmine White and this is the third coat I'll use with this. And if you do a really good solid white coat underneath, you can often get away with one coat of this if it's a light colour. You preferably two, but See how it goes. It's important to remember when buying these and buying your heads, they come in different sizes, so make sure that your head fits the roller. I think some are sold in metric sizes and some are sold in imperial, so just bear that in mind. These also come with long extensions sometimes. You can see it's got a thread in the bottom, so you can add an extension pole. That's for if you're doing ceilings and things like that. I don't need that today, so I'm just, uh, just using that. Some of them are telescopic, so you can use them as a short pole, long one, whatever. Whatever suits your needs, doesn't matter. And that there, it's just a basic head. I think this was about four quid or three pound for three pound a head. B&Q maybe, Wix's, whatever, any good uh, DIY store. And the same with the brush. That there is just a standard brush. That's a 38mm Enox, I think it's called. I'm not a painter and decorator, so I don't really know, but I know it's good. And you want a decent quality one because you don't want the bristles falling out, otherwise you're always picking them out and it's a nightmare. So don't buy really budget paintbrushes, but you don't have to buy the best either for this. I'll just show you there, you can see a bit of a yellow tinge on that. And that's just because the oils have come to the surface. So what you want to do is give that a good stir. Always worth keeping a tub of this lying around as well, so you can touch up your walls. Take that, you just slot it on there. Push it up, job done, there we go. Okay, you just get your paint, after it's stirred, into a nice clean tray. And this is where it's handy to have a big paintbrush, all right? And then just, just clean the edge of that before you pull it back up. And it just stops all that paint dripping all over your tin. There we are. And that's all we do is take your roller, get a little bit of paint, and you just rub it back onto the grids on your tray. And there, just get it in like that, nicely into your roller so it's covered with paint. And what I want to do is get a bit of paint on the brush and I'm going to do the corners first and then I'm going to roll them out with a roller and work down the wall. So I'll show you that now. I've got a bit of paint on my brush. I'm just going to cut in. And this is where you've got to be careful now because I'm using a slightly off white and the ceiling is already white so I don't want to go onto the ceiling. I'm trying to keep the two colours separate. And the thing to avoid is when you've got the fresh paint on your brush, don't slap it straight by the ceiling because you'll get it on the ceiling. Start off half an inch below the ceiling and let the paint spread a bit first and you can go back over it. So I don't splash now, the fresh paint on the roller. Just gently apply it to your wall. Now I've got the paint off, I'm going to go along the top and just take out the brush lines with the roller, being careful not to touch the ceiling. Still going. 
final coat of paint is finished. This wall is actually an off-white and these ceiling bits up there and there are white.